Involve Me is an AI-powered builder for quizzes, forms, surveys, calculators, and much, much more. Everything within Involve Me you can design incredibly efficiently, simply by dragging and dropping elements into your projects. Involve Me is especially useful for collecting leads, increasing engagement, or simply learning more about your audience. Even though Involve Me is very easy to use, it offers you a lot of tools to customize your projects as much as you want. And to demonstrate this, let me hop into a project and show you how your workflow with Involve Me could look like. The very first thing that you'll face are the workspaces. You can see the workspaces as a simple folder that stores multiple projects. So here you could have different workspaces for either different types of projects like surveys or funnels or for different departments like marketing or sales. Workspaces not only serve as a great tool that improve the clarity of your projects, what you can also do is see who can edit and view each of the workspaces, making collaboration a breeze. Creating a new workspace is as easy as coming in here, typing it in and creating. So those were the workspaces and let's look at the projects next. A project is made of project pages, which are organized as a funnel. The users go through these pages one by one as we design them and at the end, they're met with an outcome page. It can also be gated by a contact form or a redirect to a page on your website. When starting a new project, you can choose between three very powerful options, depending on what you need. You can either create with AI, so using our powerful AI tool, which produces stunning custom results in a matter of seconds, starting a project from scratch, meaning you get to design everything from the ground up, or you can use one of our beautiful and highly functioning customizable templates, which cover a large number of the most popular use cases of our platform. For the purpose of this demo, let's get started by working with a template. Let's say for this example that I'm working in sales, so I would like a template from sales. Then I could filter even further by adding some keywords here that will help me narrow my search. So I would like to create a form for my advertising services, and I could either preview it to see if this is what I'm looking for, or choose to edit it right away. After naming my project, there is one last decision that I need to take. Which project type do I want? For now, to keep things simple, we're gonna go with a thank you page. But later on, we're gonna discover some of the other options as well. These are some of the more advanced and truly incredible features, such as answer-based outcomes, which provide different final pages to your customers based on their answers, and score-based outcomes, which give your users different final pages based on their scores. This would be particularly useful for quizzes or calculators, for example. So we choose our thank you page and start editing. Our tool is AI powered and no code. As you can see, we have a large amount of content elements that you can simply drag and drop onto your canvas and edit them to your liking. Content elements include different blocks for questions, calculators, contact forms, and much, much more. Our templates are ready to go out of the box. So sometimes the only thing you need to do is change up the design so it matches your brand. You can do this by clicking the brush icon in the top right corner, and then you have plenty of design options to choose from on the right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the background color so it matches my brand. Brand. It's gonna be this light blue. Then I'm gonna change the font so it matches my brand. Let's go with impact. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to change the positioning of the text like this. And the best thing about all of this is that I don't have to do this individually for each of the pages, but my changes have been automatically applied to every single page. A blank page is going to look like this. And then from the right side of the project, you can simply pick and choose an element that you would like to use and then drag and drop it in. And then I can adjust the contents of my element simply by going through the menus on the right side of my screen. For example, I can scroll down here and change what the answer boxes actually display on them. So I'm just gonna say, involve me for this one, and it changes the answer field in real time. Then if I was making a quiz, for example, I could select involve me to be the correct answers and then assign values to it and then eventually evaluate it at the end of the project. And just like that, the form is ready to go. Before I ship it, I can try it myself by clicking the eye icon in the top right corner and then try draft. And so I was able to go through the whole form all the way to the thank you page. Let's look at some of the more advanced features. 
One of the most useful tools that you can use is the calculator. I'll use this opportunity to run through this price quote calculator with you and then show you how it works. I am going to be able to do this by clicking on the eye icon, trying draft. So first, you're going to be able to see how a user experiences the project, and then we're going to go on the back end and see how it actually works and how we can make this happen. Let's say I am interested in sales. I would like to go on a plan for $25 a month. I need 10 seats for this project and I need campaigns for $1,000 a month. Of course, I could go and read into all what this means, but for the sake of simplicity, let's just click through it. And just like that, I get my custom price. And what I could do now is sign up to a free trial or before I commit or however you wanna set this up. So let's look at how this actually works under the hood. So right away, we saw an example of answer mapping and logic jumps. Each one of these four fields is mapped to a different outcome within the project. Since I chose sales at the start, only the pages with sales were the ones that were visible to me. However, as you can see within the project, there are other pages for different departments and different options that different users could choose. Then, based on my answers within the sales pages, I was given a custom quota at the very end of the project based on my needs precisely. And of course, you could customize this even further to fit your exact needs. And just by clicking on these elements, we can see how logic jumps and answer mapping actually work. After clicking on the element to activate logic jumps, the only thing you need to do is scroll down a little bit and find click behavior. Within click behavior, you just select logic jumps. And just like that, your answers, which you map here, will lead to specific pages. After mapping to this outcome, the answer will count as a point towards it. And then the outcome with the most points will get shown at the end. You do the mapping simply by selecting the map outcome and then selecting the page which you would like to jump to. And for this, of course, we would like to jump to page two, marketing. Another very powerful feature that you can use is answer piping. So for example, I can input my name right here and then after pressing next, I can see that my name is displayed right here. And this is done once again in an incredible simple fashion, just by going to the page, going to the element, and then adding answers and data. And of course, the data we'd like here is the first name. And just like that, we're done. And there are plenty of other advanced features that we could talk about, such as hidden fields, for example, or how to combine these different advanced features to create even more robust systems, but this we can do in other videos. Next, let's look at how answer-based outcome projects could look like. For this example, my company is offering premium vehicle rentals, and I am trying to help my customers decide which car would fit them the best. So for example, if I click at page three, I can see I have three options. What is my ideal ride? Classic, flashy, or vintage? By clicking on the element and exploring the content of it by scrolling down in the content menu on the right, if a customer says that they prefer a classic car, it is going to assign a weight of one to the outcome classic. And so the customer would be given the choice of Rolls Royce. Another very powerful feature within Involve Me are the connections or integrations that we offer. As you can see, there are dozens of integrations that you can explore. Some of the more notable ones, including Zapier, HubSpot, and MailChimp. But of course, there are many, many more that you can choose from and utilize with Involve Me. Next, let's look at responses and the analysis tools within Involve Me. We'll use a simple employee satisfaction survey with three questions as an example. We can go to responses and then look at all the analytics right here. The first page that you met with is the summary where you can see the key metrics and the response summary of each of the questions. Then you can go into the detailed metrics, like for example, the conversion funnel, how many people started the survey, how many people completed the survey, which devices they used to complete your surveys. You can look at geographical breakdowns, embeds, and question funnels. You can also analyze each of the responses individually, or you can use our powerful AI to generate an AR report as well. These were some of the more advanced features within Involve Me, but of course, there are so many more to go through that are just outside of the scope of this demo. There are other tutorials, both written and in video form that you can check out if you want to explore more. Finally, let's look at how publishing of a project looks like. By going to the top right corner, we can click on publish and then we're faced with a few more configuration settings that we can go through to make sure that your project is configured exactly the way you'd like it to be. Here you can see you can use custom domains 
customize your project URL. Then by scrolling lower, you could, for example, limit multiple submissions by the same user, and you could do this either indefinitely or at a selected time frame. There are many configuration settings that you can go through, and then at the very end, you're met with tracking and scripts. You could connect this to your already existing tracking tools and track, for example, unique visits or conversion rate or completion rate of your projects and much, much more. After you're done with this, you click publish, and just like that, your project is live. Congratulations. The final option that you get is embedding the project on your web page. For example, having it as a full page, or you could have it at a pop-up, just like this. You could then further customize the pop-up. It can either be on a button click or even on a page load. So once your page loads, just like that, you have your pop-up embedded into your website. And when you're satisfied with your customization, you can simply click in the bottom left corner and get the embed code, which you can put into your pages HTML. And you can also preview the project on different devices as well. So for example, this is how the project would look like on a desktop, on a phone, and even on an iPad. And you can click through it, make sure everything works, see how everything looks like on each of the devices. You can try all these features and many more by using our 14-day free trial. Open your account for free now, start testing our tool, and come get involved.